Hello Gemini, my name is Alison and you're with Healing Dove Tarot. We're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you from the 15th of July into the 31st of July. So let's get started. <clears throat> Universe and Angels messages and guides, please give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Gemini from the 15th of July to the 31st of July in love. Thank you Spirit. What are the messages that Gemini needs to know? Please show me. King of Swords. Okay, so for my Gemini males, that could represent you. You're coming up in your own reading. Very logical. Um, very clear. Four of Swords. Taking some time to go within. Five of Wands. Mm, petty arguments. The Fool. New beginnings. New beginnings in love, Gemini. Starting something new. Potentially with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah. Uh, for my Gemini men, it could be a woman that's very beautiful. She's um, intuitive. She has a shit together. Um, almost kind of takes your breath away. All right. So, yep. <laughs> the bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Wands. Can you see that there? So Ace of Wands talks about a passionate new beginning, okay? Um, it can be quite phallic in nature. It could be um, some of you just getting going to get a lot of sexy time, all right? <laughs> it's on, all right? It's, it's in the cards, <laughs> as they say. Um, we also have the Empress. So I really feel like... Um, for my Gemini men, you've just met this quite, the Empress represents, she is the Queen of Queens, okay? She is that energy of um, independence, intelligence. Look at her. I mean, she's beautiful. She knows she's beautiful. She doesn't need to be told. She's grounded. She's connected to nature. She's spiritual, um, highly sexual. It kind of everything, kind of your dream woman that you could kind of imagine, right? She's also the kind of woman that you would marry or want to have as the mother of your child. Now, for my Gemini women, this could represent you. It could mean that you are taking on these energies. And I must say, if you are, that's a wonderful place to be in. It's like you're coming into your own. And I've been doing a lot of the Gemini readings lately and in personal readings, and I've been seeing that kind of transformation for a lot of you. So, if you are really feeling back in this zone, feeling very um, sensual and sexual and just grounded and, and more yourself, then well done, because that's a really nice place to be. Um, and look, coupled with the Ace of Wands, um, yeah, it's it's a really nice, it's really hot energy, okay? For my Gemini men that are single, um, there could be a Taurus that's really quite prevalent around you. Um, I mentioned an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, or there could be a fellow Earth sign, um, sorry, Air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I say that because we have the King of Swords. Okay, so it, don't worry about the King or the Queen being gender, um, but the King of the King. This is someone older, someone wise, someone um, either your age or older. He can sometimes be a bit cold and brash with his words, um, but it's not intentional. It's more of a um, an idiosyncrasy, okay? It's almost like a, a habit, a second nature thing. He's quite, the reason why he's the king, the reason why he's gotten to this level is because he or she has faced a lot of trials and tribulations in their life. Um, and they're very clear about what they want. So if you feel like you're getting a bit of the cold shoulder on either side, so don't take that too personally, okay? Now, if this represents you, if you are a male Gemini watching this video, then it's showing me that you've really been taking some time to just kind of rest and chill and and, and really think about what it is that you want. Um, I see the Four of Swords coupled with the Five of Wands. Um, they're looking diagonally at each other on the board. And for me, what that's saying is that the reason why you've been taking time to kind of recoup, and this could be financially, um, it's more mentally though. This is a card of mental 
um, balance and groundedness. It's it's like unplugging um, potentially meditation, whatever whatever it is. You're, you've been clearing your mind, okay. And the reason why you've been doing that is because you have the five of wands, and the five of wands speaks to bickering, fighting. Um, for some of you, this is your ex. Um, you can see, look at how vicious they are to each other. Okay. There is a bird, a sparrow. I like to think of it as dove because I see the dove all the time. It's my spirit guide. Um, but there's the energy of divine trying to break the two up. So uh, if this is you and your partner and this is the energy between you, the message here is just to take a break from communication if you can. The Four of Swords is telling you to retreat because it's not healthy right now. And Geminis can be quite cutting with their words. It's not how they are in terms of personality, but sometimes um, the delivery and what you say can be a little bit harsh. Um, I know that your softy is to the core, but just, just be conscious of that, okay? Um, you do have the Fool, however, one of my favourite cards in the entire deck. Um, the reason why I love this card is because it speaks of freedom, right? Look at how free he is. Sold everything, literally has nothing left bar the rucksack that's on his back. Um, so for me, it really denotes the starting again, okay? And male or female, I see that very clearly here. Um, I, I see either starting a new relationship, you've met someone new that's blowing you away. For my males, it could be this woman that is just this earth sign woman. I mean, look at this combination, Nine of Pentacles. Um, nine of Pentacles, she is just, and the Empress that's coming underneath, which is from your recent past, so you could have um, sexually connected with this woman and it just blew your mind, like it was just like this match, but I see very much you wanting to make an offer to her, um, but taking it slowly. Um, for the female a Gemini is watching, I see it being the reverse, I see you having quite a strong male um, presence around you, someone potentially older, um, that's wanting to start something new with you, um, but you're retreating, you're not quite ready. And then it's you who's wanting to take your time, okay? And and that's okay. If this has happened, then that's that's completely fine. And my gut feeling is telling me to take your time because you've come from this energy in the past, all right? No one wants that. It's draining. Now, for those that are in couples, what I see here is that you're coming out of this period of arguing and bickering and you're actually starting a new cycle in your relationship, which is just fantastic. We just had the total lunar eclipse, July 13th. It was a super moon in Cancer. And Cancer is all about the home, okay? It's all about family, home, foundation. Some of you have moved house, but this is a love reading, so we're going to focus on the emotional connection with people. Now... This new moon was all about cleansing, releasing, um, starting afresh, okay? And in the sign of Cancer, it's to do with your committed relationships, your partnerships, your home. So for those of you that have had really trying time with your partner, um, just know that that cycle's ending. You're coming out of this bickering phase, it's ending, and you're starting afresh, okay? You're starting, you're walking into something a little bit more grounded, for some of you, that's meant an actual breakup and you, because the Nine of Pentacles is my single lady card. All right. But it looks good, Gemini. Either way, whichever way you're going, okay? For the males, you've got this hot female, this incredible woman around you. For the females, you have this very logical man that's certain of what he wants. It's almost kind of like... He's, it feels almost like he's coming on a bit strong and you want to take your time. Take your time. For those that are in couples, you're starting a completely new phase. And for those that have split up and broken, um, the world's at your feet, okay? You, you don't want that. No one wants this feeling. You want this feeling, this feeling of freedom. And you can have that in a committed partnership. Just seeing if there's any other messages I need to pass on. <laughs> For those of you that are having a lot of sexy time, enjoy. It's hot. <laughs> okay, let's review you an additional guidance card. Please show me what are the additional messages for the sign of Gemini in love from the 15th of July to the 31st of July. Please show me.
Okay, like I say about sexy time, look at the sacral chakra, it's all about sex. Um, let me read for you from the book what are the key meanings around this. Okay, so um, key words I want, it's all about desire, right? Um, the sacral chakra, the second chakra, two fingers below your navel, relates to emotions, desires, creativity and sexuality. Um, visualize a glowing orange ball of energy in your belly. See it spinning and sparkling. Feel joy as it grows larger and sends orange sparks into the universe. By energizing your sacral chakra, you attract creativity, joy, passion, and love into your life. Um, so it's a message to actually, the additional message for you is to focus on your sexuality um, for the next two weeks. And look, I already saw that on the board, but I'll just read for you again about how to do this activation. Okay. For some of you, you need to do that. For And I feel for the ones that are separated that have this new energy coming in. Um, to activate this chakra, visualize a glowing orange ball of energy in your belly area. See it spinning and sparkling. Feel joy as it grows larger and sends orange sparks out into the universe. By energizing your sacral chakra, you attract creativity, joy, passion, and love into your life. And who doesn't want that? Hey, Gemini. All right, this was your reading. I did. I do hope you found it helpful. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Write your comments below. I always love to read them. And I'll be back with you in a couple of weeks. Take care.